Okay, so it's the morning, IVIG. We're now in November, so it's cold, and I'm coming towards the end of the year of this whole IVIG stuff. Usually this month, it's now getting cold and hot and cold really down here, but is when I start to get sick. I could kind of feel my body almost getting sick recently, like this week, and then my body fighting it off. So I think I'm due for my infusion and haven't been sick, thank God. <laughs> um, I have not uh, really been sick. Been drinking a little bit of elderberry tea, but um, been doing all right. So I'm going. So it's the night after IVIG. Uh, the biggest thing that changed for this infusion is my vein. Um, I always have vein issues with that certain brand, Sanzaiga, and I had bad problems this time. So first off, I had to get stuck three times. I tried to have them go in my arm again twice. It blew, and I was like, just go in the hand. So they went in the hand, um, and not long. I got fluids for 30 minutes, and then... The IVIG, and it may have been approximately like two hours of the IVIG in my, you might be able to see it still. This vein um, was really swollen. The vein was hurting while I was getting it, and it was like a lump right here and swollen. And if you touched it, like if I touched it, it hurts. And it was like kind of really painful. So I just called the nurse in and told her, and she looked at it, and she's like, yeah. And she tried to flush it, and she said it was flushing, but I don't know. So anyway, it was in. Like, I had pain where the needle was in, and the vein was, like, just very painful. And um, all it was doing was, like, lumping up hard. So then they were like, okay, we'll, we'll stick you somewhere else. So then I got stuck twice in here. Both of them blew. Um, here and here. And then finally they went in uh, inside my elbow there. Um, and then I couldn't move my arm because he said it's, like, right by a valve or something. My move... It might blow so I had to sit there for two hours holding <laughs> going to the bathroom and not move um, and after that is when I kind of fell asleep I got real tired um, before that I was just a little like tired but just watching TV and was fine and then after that X the two hours when they restuck me I knocked out I was like so exhausted um, which is normal how I get uh, came home I was starving like I don't know if it's IVIG or it's like certain people's blood. <laughs> I mean, I kind of make jokes about it like, oh, these people must have been like really hungry people because now I'm starving. Um, so I came home, ate a whole bag of popcorn, and then I was still hungry. It wasn't dinner time. Uh, and then I was eating like, um, what do you call this? The snow caps, like a box, of, uh, like whatever snacks I had in the house. And then I just had a pork chop and some veggies, and I'm like, I'm starving. Like, I could eat all day, but I'm going to go rest. It's early. It's probably, like, before 6 p.m. And I'm going in my bed, put the TV on, and just sleep. And hopefully uh, the main issue is just a little pain in the veins. Like, they're kind of swollen. They stick out a little bit. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but um, and when I look down, I can see they're kind of swollen. And, uh, yeah, I kind of feel it in my cast, like, a little bit of the, the vein issue. So, next time I go see my doctor, which I need to call and make an appointment, I'm going to ask her about it. She, last time she told me it's, like, inflammation. It could be very painful to touch. She called it something. But I'm going to see if there's anything we can do about that because I like this brand the best because it doesn't make me, like, out of it or, like, body aches or, like, sick for two weeks. Like, the other drug brand that I was on, you know, also... That was what I first started with, um, two different brands, and that could have been why as well, but I feel like the side effects from this drug are much better. Like, I just have the vein issue. I don't have all the, a lot, I don't have a lot of head pressure, and I don't get, like, body, and my body does hurt, but not, like, as bad as it was with the other ones. Um, like, I get a little stiff, and I can feel, like, a little bit of my neck hurting, but it's not anything really that... I would notice or complain about so if there's something they can do for the vein issue I would like to stay on this brand so we'll see what my doctor says about that hey so it's Saturday morning and overall feeling okay a little bit of body aches and mainly a little bit of tiredness um, y'all <laughs> I slept according to my sleep 
monitor under my bed uh, 11 hours and 38 minutes last night. And last time I had showed y'all this um, sleep report, and usually I don't wake up during the night after IBIG, like that's how much it knocks me out. But I did wake up a little bit here and there, but not as much as normal. Um, if you can see the little oranger lines at the top of where I wake up. So it's a couple of that. And then you can see I got out of bed early. I had to use the bathroom so bad. I was holding it in because I was so tired. And then I went back to sleep for a little while and finally got out of bed around, I guess, 740. I didn't think I got out that early. Um, and it says I went to bed at 717 last night. I got in my bed. That's when I fell asleep around 717. I went to bed close to six, watched a movie, and then just knocked out. So that's normal. Um, I only got 55 minutes of deep sleep. I had seven hours of light sleep, but anyway, I was sleeping. That's what it does. So I went to Starbucks today, got the coffee. So hopefully I'll uh, be awake. And I got my little, I had enough points for a free bakery item too. So. I'm going to enjoy that this morning, and I'm not going to do a whole lot, even though I have to do things. I'm always trying to get things done. I need to kind of clean up my backyard a little bit, but I know I probably need a rest too, so I'm going to try to take it a little easy, not do too much, and um, see how that goes. So, so far, no problems. The vein issue is still there. Um, it's getting a little bit better, but it hurts to touch it and a little bit of fatigue and a little bit of body ache so overall i can think and I'm, I'm doing okay and i'm fine so hey so it's monday evening and i didn't get on yesterday one my ipad died and i was gone like all day um but yesterday um, i had a lot more energy i was kind of back to normal had a little bit of the vein uh still hurting and as of today, no, the vein really doesn't hurt. I was touching it earlier. Um, not much at all. And i um, feeling pretty good. I definitely can tell the difference getting it every four weeks versus when I had took that longer break, even though I would like to take longer breaks. Um, for now, I'm going to stick with the four weeks and um, wait till after winter's over and then see maybe I can go longer in between. But getting it... Um, I can tell the difference of like, I feel so much better. Like, I don't even feel like I need as much sleep, um, more awake. I have a little bit of body pain, like still like the muscles and bones in my back mainly. Um, everything else is fine. It's like just, I don't know why my back's kind of hurting. Um, it's kind of like the bone marrow problem I had before, but in my like spine. Um, but other than that, I took an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt and baking soda, um, whirlpool bath tonight, um, just to try to get everything out. I'm not super tight. Um, this infusion was better as far as all those symptoms. Uh, very little. I didn't even drink that much. Um, I did notice I was reading, somebody said IVIG actually dehydrates you. And when I was going to the bathroom, like my pee was yellow, like, and right before the infusion it was all white because I was drinking a lot. So I was like, what is going on? Like, why is it so yellow? But it must be dehydrate you so I'm drinking water now um, but I don't really have any problems with that but maybe that's what causes people the headaches and all that I have none of that so pretty good um, if nothing changes I may just uh, wait till the Friday to just recap everything uh, drank my elderberry tea been doing that it's about to get cold so that's a big test because it's about to go freezing it's like 70 degrees right now and it's tomorrow night's gonna be like in the 30s so We'll see if that affects me at all. But anyway, that's it for now. So I didn't do another video to end the week of my IVIG. But that whole week of my last infusion was really good. I didn't have any problems other than what I had talked about with the veins and stuff. And I did really well. So I didn't get back on. And then I'm trying to think how long after that week <laughs> it would... I think it was almost like two weeks after the infusion, I got sick. It's winter now. Well, it's like the weather changes back and forth, but I did get sick. I got a virus. I felt really bad. I had fever a little bit. Um, it might have been like 99.4, which for me is kind of high because it's 
my temperature is usually 97.5. But um, I, I felt I was like, great, I got a virus. Now do I go to the doctor? Do I not go to the doctor? And I just went to my doctor just for the three-month update of IVIG, and I was fine. And then it was like the next day I started feeling sick. But it did go away a lot quicker than normal. Viruses stay in your system like 14 days, so technically I still have it, even though um, I'm okay. But the maybe like three days, three or four days, I felt really bad. And then um, I did get better. So that is um, good. And that's probably because I have IVIG. Um, I'm almost due. I have another week for my next infusion. And I am starting to feel a little like more tired. I'm sleeping a lot more. So that's kind of odd. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe because I got sick, it, mm, I used up all the antibodies. I don't really know, but I'm definitely feeling more tired. Like I'm sleeping more and that's like the typical problem I used to have besides just the, the sickness. Um, so I just wanted to update with that. And my doctor is now letting me go six months before I see her again. We're gonna stay on the every four weeks and after this whole winter season is over, maybe she, towards next summer we can try to um, go with that. She really thinks because my main issue was the tiredness, but really I always got sick in the winter and that was like for me the biggest test, um, that I might be able to go. She had other patients around my age that were only on this for like six months and they were able to get off and never had to go back on, no complaints. So. We're going to see. I tried to do that six-week span. It didn't work too well, and I need every four weeks. But after this whole year is up and then go towards maybe the summer, I will try to go longer in between. So we'll see. It's just um, a journey. You have to get it every four weeks for now, and I'll do another uh, video for the next infusion. That'll be my last one for the year, and then um, update on if there's still sicknesses and stuff like that, just update on the health. So that's it. If the video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, like it. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I'll answer that. And thanks for watching.